giving Buck an early dinner today because then we're gonna eat dinner early today. So I'm gonna be able to spend extra time with him. So I figure I feed him an hour earlier. Right, big boy? You ready? Look, you want strawberries? Yeah. I got strawberries for you, my big boy. He's a lot calmer now, right? I don't know what you're seeing this morning. I don't know what you're seeing this morning. There you go. I got the squash for him. The acorn squash, I'm gonna cut it up for him tomorrow because I want to get the regular butternut squash like out of my fridge. So I figure I'll give him the last half. Right, big boy? Strawberries. I know you're gonna eat, you want to eat on your own. I know it. I knew it. I know my big boy wants to eat on his own. You enjoying your apples? Mommy's gonna have an early dinner today, so that's why I figure I feed him early because by the time I come out after dinner, it's probably gonna start getting dark out. Because we're gonna have dinner today at four o'clock. So if I was to come out after, then it'll be like almost five and it'll be dark out. Right? So at least I could feed you while it's still light out before it gets dark and spend extra time with him. I don't have to like feed him and run inside. Right? Like this morning I had to feed you and run inside. Filled up his water bucket, like I put more water in his bucket, added more corn. He still had some of his morning corn, which I scattered it some on the floor for the little ones. But now he has a fresh scoop of corn in his bucket. And the strawberries and the apples. Right, my big boy? You much calmer? And it was funny because I was going to call him for early dinner, but he was already at the spot. So I was like, all right, I don't even have to call you. That was good. Buck, you were already here. Because sometimes if I have to give him an early dinner, like, you know, he's used to his time schedule that I feed him. So sometimes I would have to call him if I have to feed him a little bit earlier. But today I didn't have to. Wait, let me fix these apples. Okay. Good boy. Yeah, baby. You smell my clothes? You smell ginger? You smell ginger? Oh, my baby. I got butternut squash for you. You want butternut squash? Yeah? Okay, I put in your bucket. Look. Look, Buck. Look what I got for you. See? Put in your bucket. All right, hold on, guys. I'm going to put this in his bucket. Look, over here. Okay. You got your butternut squash. This is like a peel, so I'm just gonna throw it and he can have fun with it later. Because the peels that I threw yesterday, they're gone. So I don't know if, I'm sure Buck must have ate them. Okay. Now he can eat. Yeah, he likes the butternut squash. Tomorrow he's gonna try the acorn squash. And it's so cute, it looks like a little round pumpkin, like a little green pumpkin. So tomorrow I'll give him that. Make him try that. Hey, right, you eating it? Good job. Oh good, yeah, he's eating it. And there's the seeds in there. It looks like pumpkin seeds. Butternut squash seeds look like pumpkin seeds. So I'm sure he loves it. Cause he's digging in. And it's funny because if I was to slice it and throw it on the ground, he wouldn't eat it unless probably tonight, like when there's nothing for him to pick on, then he'll come back and pick on it. But he likes it sliced. Right, my big boy? You like it sliced. So this is his New Year's Day dinner. He was already at the spot. And he's much calmer than this morning. This morning something got him on alert. I don't know what. He kept looking like down there. Nobody was out in that house, like the, that neighbor. They weren't outside this morning, so 
I don't know if there was like another animal that he spotted. I don't think it was a deer. Because usually if there's another deer, he'll run like towards them. If he spots that, like a new deer in the forest. Like he'll go and check it out. So I don't think it was a deer, but I don't know what it was. I know there's a stray cat. There's a black stray cat that walks around in this forest. And around March, it was a kitten. And it was on my side. And I was trying to get it to come to me because I wanted to feed it and help it. But it ran, like it ran into here, into this forest. But now it's big, it's like a grown up. And it probably lives in here. So I don't know if that's what Buck's seeing maybe, running around, it could be, it could be wrong. Well, you see, he's gonna smell it, but he won't eat it now. He'll eat it later, right? My big boy, where's my big boy? Are you gonna go smell the other one? He's gonna smell the other piece I threw. That's why he's standing there, because I threw the butternut squash peel pieces. Like they still had the peel on top of them. The ones I put in his corn bucket, I took the peel out and I chopped them all up in little squares. Now he just had his dinner. I figured, because I was thinking about giving him his dinner when I was done eating dinner, but now I was thinking about it. Me and my husband were talking and we were like, all right, we're eating dinner like four. So by the time we're done eating dinner and everything, like, you know, us, we have dinner, then we have the coffee and the cakes. <laughs> So I was thinking in my head, I was like, by the time I get out here, it's going to be like 440, almost quarter to five. And it's going to start getting dark and it sucks because then when it's dark out, you know, I feel like the videos come a lot darker than, you know, the way they look now. So at least right now it's still light out. It's nice and bright. Right? You my big boy. Who you see? Now you're making me want to look. I don't see nobody, Buck. He always makes me look behind me when he looks over there. When he looks behind me, he makes me look behind me. <laughs> but he ate dinner. He didn't finish all his breakfast corn, but he left like a li literally a quarter of it. So he ate most of it. But since I'm feeding him early today, like with the dinner, I'm sure he'll be back to finish that corn that's in the bucket throughout the day. Right? Throughout the night. At least you have corn. You're cleaning yourself, my beautiful boy. You keep yourself so clean. It's funny because in the winter when I pet him, his hair is not dirty. I don't find dirt on my hands. But when, for some reason when I pet him in like spring, summer, I always find dirt in my hands. Right? You stay more dirtier in the summer. You keep yourself dirtier. But in the winter, he's nice and clean, his fur. And my brother-in-law recently went hiking with his dog, like somewhere, some park, like that's by his house. And his dog just got a whole bunch of ticks on him. He was telling us yesterday. So I told him, I said, that's crazy because thank God, like I don't want to jinx it really. But this big boy, the last tick he had on him was in October. So this big boy has been good. Thank God. He's been nice and clean. That's why I took the neem oil spray. I took it in the house because I didn't want it to freeze outside or anything. So I took it in the house because I figured I don't have to spray him. I don't see no ticks on him, knock on wood. I don't see no, like, you know, flies flying around him, bothering him like the horse flies like that we see in the summer. So he's been pretty good. Oh, now he's looking the other butternut squash. Yeah, that's a butternut squash piece. Oh, he got it. Let me find out you like the peel. You just spoiled. You just want them cut up. See, because I threw two more pieces of peel. I guess he does like the peel too. <laughs> well, that's why I don't make the peel go to waste. Like when I cut the butternut squash for him, usually the peels I put in the side and then I just dump them on the ground. And then the ones that I cut up all in slices, I put with his corn because he's spoiled. Right? You're a spoiled boy. It's funny, when he cleans himself, when he grooms himself, I meant to say, his hair sticks up like that because his hair is wet right, right now because he licked it. So that's why his hair looks funny like that right now, if anybody's wondering. That's because he was just grooming himself. It's so quiet outside today. Everybody's probably home, relaxing, you know? Like us, we're not having too much family coming over today. Just one of my husband's brothers are coming over. 
So it's not going to be like yesterday. It's not going to be like a full, full house. And today my husband is off from work, so it's nice, you know? Today for us, it feels like a Sunday because my husband worked yesterday and today he's off. But today feels like a Sunday for us. Not that he has off on Sundays. My husband always works on Sundays. He's only, he only has off on Saturdays. But it's because he's off today. It just feels a little out of place. Like, what? It's Monday and you're off? But I told my husband, I was like, this week is going to go by fast for you. Because you had off on Monday. On Monday. Right, Buck? This week is going to fly by. And it's not that cold out like it was. This morning was a little chilly out. Now it's not that cold. I'm hearing that in a week from now or two weeks from now, we're supposed to be getting snow. I don't know. That's the talks. My cousin was telling me that too because she watches the forecast and she doesn't live too far from me. She lives like a half hour from me. And she told me that we're expecting snow in a week from now. I don't know if it's next Sunday or the following Sunday. Something like that. But there's supposed to be like a mini snowstorm coming. Right, Buck? What happened, big boy? <laughs> again, you have it looking at the spot over there. Now he's looking straight again. But at least, thank God, like, he came up to me, he ate, like, you know. I could tell, like, he's not on alert where he's scared right now and nothing. He's relaxed. It's just, he's just looking. But I don't know what he spots that's straight down. I don't see anything. But he must spot something. He must see or smell something. But I feel like sometimes even the squirrels, they prank him. Because the squirrels, when you have two, three squirrels running around in there on top of the leaves, they make like noise on the leaves. It kind of sounds like almost if there's a deer, like, you know, running around when you have like three, four squirrels running around. Look, it's banging. Not this house. Like another house that's this way. It's okay, big boy. They're not coming here, so you're good. You're good. Mm, somebody has their fireplace on. I love when I can smell the fireplace from here, from this spot, because it smells so good. The burning wood, it smells so good. All right, now you see how he's looking. You know why he's looking? Because where you see those cars, that's like there's a fence there. I just see somebody walking by. I don't know if they're walking their dog, like on the sidewalk, but that's why he's looking over there right now. That's why his eyes are over there. <laughs> Buck is like, I hear noise all around me. I know, baby. You hear noise all around you? And Buck gets very territorial when people walk close to the forest. But especially when he stands here. Like this morning, after I was done making all the videos, he was watching like bikers pass by and stuff, like going straight down. And he was kind of like stomping his feet a little bit. And I was like, look at you. He's like so territorial of this area, like of his home, you know? Buck, you're so beautiful. You're such a beautiful boy. Yeah. At least he ate. I'm happy he ate. And he still has a lot of corn in his bucket, which, like I said, he could eat it throughout the day or night. He'll have food for later, for when he gets hungry around like 4 o'clock. Right? You'll have food? And you have fresh water. I had to change this whole water bucket this eve, like this afternoon now, because a bird probably pooped, probably was flying by and pooped in his bucket. So I had to clean out the water bucket. And I usually in the evenings, I only bring out like this much water to fill up some of his water bucket, you know, not to fill it up full because I don't think I have to fill it up full, but I had to empty out all the water, wipe his bucket down, the water bucket, and then go inside the house, get a new batch of fresh water, and pour it in his bucket. Because I would never leave bird poop in his bucket or any type of 
Like in the summer, sometimes I'll find like a worm inside his bucket. I don't know if it's the birds that carry in their mouths and then they want to drink water and they drop it in the bucket or while they're flying, they drop it. I'll find worms. I take those out of the, like I will clean out his whole water when I see things like that. I don't leave his water dirty at all. I don't care if I see like a little corn kernel, like, you know, if there's a corn inside the bucket of the water, I'm like, all right, whatever, that could stay in there. But if I find bird poop or worms or bugs, stuff like that, uh-uh. Right, Buck? We're not going to have none of that in your water. No, no. We give you clean water all the time. So sometimes I have to change his water and put clean water twice a day, like morning and evening. Today, I, it was one of those days to give him fresh water twice. But it's okay. He's stretching. Look at his tail. so beautiful. He's stretching. My big boy. You stretching those legs? You stretching your strong legs? Who's my big boy? You my big boy? All right, everyone. I'm going to get going. I actually do have bread for the birds, but I have to go back inside to go get it. Today, I didn't bring everything outside with me because I had to go back inside to get a new batch of water. So that's what made me forget to grab the bread. So once I end this video, I gotta get my butt back inside, go grab the bread for the doves and stuff, come back out here and throw the bread. But I'm happy that he had his early dinner and he was already at the spot, I didn't have to call him. Cause like I said, sometimes when I have to call him, like he takes a little longer to come to me cause he's not used to like, you know, the time change, but he was already at the spot. So I was like, yes, I was like, this works out perfect. I could feed you. All right, everyone. I hope everyone has a, or had a, a great Happy New Year's. I did. I had a good Happy New Year's. I ate a lot yesterday that I ended up going to bed with a little of a belly ache. I was like, oh man, <laughs> I was stuffed. But I had a good time. Buck had a good breakfast yesterday and dinner. Plus today, I know he was a little on alert today with the breakfast, but now he's he's good. Right now, what he's doing, he's just hanging out. This is what he does when he's done eating dinner. Like he'll just stand there, look around, listen to everything. Right now he's just being himself. <laughs> but I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. I hope everybody has a great evening and a good night. And to the people that are coming in now, happy new years. And thank you for everyone that wished me and Buck a happy new years. I wish you guys a happy new years right back at you. And me and big boy, we will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And me and big boy, we will be back tomorrow morning. Ciao for now.